Hi, I'm Tom from Foil Ride. Here is the new Lift E3. So this is the third generation of Lift E-Foil. This is our first unboxing. I honestly haven't looked at it yet. This has been a great expectation. This is a customer board, so whilst I'm able to look at it, unfortunately, I can't go for a ride. So we've got rid of the box. Um, first thing you'll see is the lift comes with the bag. All the boards come with custom bags. So the board we have is the 4.9 in black. And the black process is an unpainted board. It's a clear coat. And what is actually weird is that the new carbon, if I bring it over to people can see on the camera, the new carbon doesn't look like the weave you'd expect to see. So I'm not sure the details of the carbon. It's something they've taken from the automotive industry and it made the whole thing a lot lighter and apparently this is absolutely bomb proof the blue and the white boards come painted so it's the same thing but just with paint over the top in a way i'm less excited to see the black than i thought i was because you don't get that carbon weave so actually people wanting to choose the black over the white over the blue i think the colors might be might be quite nice this is cool don't get me wrong and then when we have a look inside, it's the much of the lift componentry that we're used to. The battery box has changed for something lighter by the looks of it. That's in that same carbon. Componentry is standard though. I know some of the gubbins have been improved. They've managed to uh, improve the speed and the length of time that the board will operate on the battery. It's noticeably lighter. You know, these things are still heavy pieces of kit. We can look at the, the thickness of the carbon around this, this base here. It is really thick. Uh, I don't know, what's that? Sort of eight mil probably. Really thick, really heavy duty stainless fittings in there. This has to take a lot of torque by the time we put a mast in with a motor on the end and we start cranking around corners. So I know that's been a failure of other products that uh, people have had bent masts and uh, mass ripping out of the decks of their various boards. There's a slightly different bottom shape, more dish just in the in the nose there. So when you touch down, it just funnels some air to get this board off the water. And the way the chines have been beveled in, it means that we can really crank around corners. And again, not really. If you if you touch down with these, they're going to release really nicely. So I think all in all, this looks an epic piece of kit. I think this is the thing that really makes lift as a manufacturer stand out from any other product is the sheer quality of these wings. So this is the 200 Surf V2. It pairs with uh, a 48 rear, possibly the 38 rear as well. So there's a variety of these you can see on the website. The I've been using this on a wing foil and it's just epic. This gives you a certain amount of glide but still high maneuverability so it's not a high aspect wing it's definitely not low aspect it's got loads of lift but it's just got glide so it extends the battery life hugely and the great thing is is that all this stuff interchanges really well so for example if you have some friends who are learning to e-foil you could actually bring out a 300 surf which is the the biggest wing that they do and you can bolt that on the bottom of that 4.9 board and it would just make it so incredibly stable that you don't then have to go and buy the biggest board you need just because the family are going to use it. You can have a relatively small board that will remain fun and easy for you to ride, but just change out your wings. And the range of wings that Lyft have is absolutely huge. And as I said, I can take this low winds for wing foiling, for wing supping, for wing, wing foiling on this and actually low wind kite foiling and the whole range is really interchangeable. So if you're a person that's kind of looking at this as a multi-sport thing, actually the great, it's a great way to get a bunch of, bunch of sports taken care of on very good wings that you really, really enjoy using and they are superb quality. Last box contains what we like to call the bassoon case. This is the motor and mast charger and handset. All pretty easy stuff. You've got the, the excellent lift handset, all wrapped up, I'm not gonna unwrap it. The key to the handset is, is it looks quite of a simple sort of copy of something that Scale Electric did in the 70s. The difference between this and all the other products is the graduation on this trigger 
the work that they put into getting that as 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 epically fine as it is 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 huge another manufacturers have have actually had to go down routes of gearing where you press buttons to go through gears because they haven't managed to achieve such fine control and the fine control doesn't really become readily important when you're a beginner we actually set the power band right down so you can just peg the throttle you don't actually have to worry about using the throttle as you get better you take those that power up again and then you'll find that coming out of corners you want to feather the prop you'll notice that the prop the the throttle will raise the board or lower the board so you can control your ride height it's really important to get good at using this so having a very good one is is uh, is key the mast on a lift is all carbon that is that is a solid carbon beautiful piece of kit it's actually this, the adaptation of the same mass they've always used for their surf foiling and kite foiling and wing foil. It's a standard fitting on the bottom, but those slightly tapered fitting that the wings fit into, they fit in absolutely solid and fit beautifully. And then the motors just mounted on there. Motors come standard with a fixed prop and, and a cage. You can remove the cage and you can put a folding prop on here. So as we talked earlier, mentioned about high aspect wings, you can put a higher aspect wing on and actually get into a wave, let the throttle go, the prop closes up like a tulip, uh, has very little drag, and then you can just surf the board. Something really to look forward to. You'll see lots of e-foils and wing foils and you know all of the foiling aspects that have aluminium mass, which is a great, you know, it's a great material, but it isn't carbon. And you'll notice the reaction to of carbon under your feet as you try and make a turn. There, there will be there won't be that sort of slight lean as the aluminium bends a bit and takes up the everything that you put into the board the reaction goes straight out of the wings at the bottom there is no there's no delay there's none of that and i know it sounds kind of like very specialist but actually until you've done it it sounds like that but once you have actually tried and compared the two it's really obvious in here is the, the battery charger. The battery charger will charge the battery from empty in two hours.